Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis and I'll be replying to as many comments on this video as I can. Just several months after production began on Dwayne The Rock Johnson's movie about WWE star Paige, another Hollywood wrestling biopic is about to be greenlit. A film about the life of Vince McMahon, quite aptly called Pandemonium. The Hollywood Reporter have revealed that TriStar Pictures have snapped up the project after Andrew Lazar, the producer behind 2014's box office smash American Sniper, acquired the rights. He's also the man responsible for Cats and Dogs, Jonah Hex and Mordecai, but those are in no way as impressive. The president of WWE Studios, Michael Luisi, is also producing and the project is said to have Vince McMahon's blessing, which probably means the film will have no mention of Randy Savage. Be a star isn't just a PR exercise, WrestleMania or always breaks attendance records, WCW never stood a chance, Brett screwed Brett, etc. Comment with who you think should play Vince in the film and I'll read out the best suggestions in tomorrow's news episode. I'll kick things off, Nicolas Cage. It's recently come out that the early WrestleMania 33 card was meant to have John Cena versus The Undertaker and The Miz versus a debuting Shinsuke Nakamura. But when Kevin Dunn pitched the Nikki Bella proposal idea, those major matches were pulled. Another bout that also ended up scrapped was The Big Show taking on former NBA megastar Shaquille O'Neal. Big Show recently said on the Sam Roberts Wrestling Video Podcast that it was because Shaq couldn't commit to the prep work because of scheduling issues. But speaking on his big podcast, Shaq has revealed it's actually WWE who were to blame. They kept playing. First they said it was me and Big Show, then they said it was going to be a 3-3, three and three. then they cancelled it. So when they cancelled it, I made other arrangements. And then they tried to call back and tried to get it done and I just said, I'm not going to do it. They messed it up. WWE kept changing plans and then tried to book something last minute. I'm as surprised as you are. It's that type of on-the-fly booking that might be responsible for the huge drop-off in ratings for Raw since WrestleMania. After some of the highest numbers of the year for both the post-mania and superstar shake-up editions of Raw, this Monday's episode only averaged 3 million viewers, dropping almost 350,000 from the week before. And it's easy to see why, with a massive 60% of you giving the episode the worst possible rating at poor, and 28% thinking it's only slightly better at poor. It's Patreon shout-out time complete with Wrestle Talk Hall of Fame rings. Thank you, Damage Dan Schaefer, John Wick Chapter 2, Notorious Little Dre, Diamond Mitchell Jander, The Nightmare Michael D. Bellamare, who you can follow on Twitter at MickD487, and The Boss Sasha Casarano. Head over to Wrestle Talk's Patreon page to see how you can support Wrestle Talk. WWE haven't yet had their annual post WrestleMania mass releasing of talent, and it appears as though the company might be warming up for a future endeavors Friday soon. I hate that holiday. With the recent departures of both Simon Gotch and Tajiri from WWE, Pro Wrestling Sheet are now reporting that NXT wrestler Chris Atkins has also been released, and Uprox claim both Tough Enough 2015 winner Josh Brett and backstage interviewer Andrea DeMarco are gone too. Atkins was signed in 2015 after a WWE tryout, but was rarely used on live events and TV. His last televised match was being squashed by Eric Young on the 5th of January episode of NXT. DeMarco had made a few appearances on the main roster as a backstage interviewer, and Bradle only ever wrestled on NXT house shows after winning the one-year $250,000 contract in Tough Enough's sixth season making him the latest in a long line of prestigious Tough Enough graduates that didn't do much at all. The full indie wrestling event IPW UK Super Show 8 is up to watch on this very channel right now, including my favourite wrestler in the world, Marty Skrull in action. And watch my review of that terrible episode of Raw by clicking the videos to the left and press subscribe. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.